the Old Testament has a lot of names for God and a lot of different gods. And one of them is Jehovah. And you've done a lot of study. And what is your opinion and judgment about this being called Jehovah? Who is he? Well, to me, Jehovah is an extraterrestrial being who came here. Uh, I believe that he was immortal. Many of the beings, extraterrestrials, uh, have learned how to have immortality and not be uh, mortal like we are. Uh, hence, he could be here for many, many different uh, centuries or millennium. I think he came here with a specific group of people in mind and he had a specific plan in mind so therefore he chose what are now known as the chosen people the Jewish people and he started of course with Abraham as the Bible says and he guided this particular group of people so that through their lineage there would have um, the platform upon which Jesus could be born through their lineage and I think this was his overall plan um, however, I don't think he was one of the higher divine beings. There are certain places in the Bible where he even says that he was one of the lesser. Uh, he had a very violent nature, um, very impatient nature. Um, he was not what we would call a loving God. Nothing like what Jesus referred to as the Father. So the Bible is filled with all kinds of talk and descriptions of other gods. In fact, one of the commandments says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Right there it will tell you there were several. And uh, the other beings had other divine, or not divine, but um, immortal beings guiding them too. And some of the gods even got into fights and wars and all this sort of thing. Uh, I think they were all overshadowed by the UFOs, what we might call UFOs. They might have called Merkaba vehicles or whatever they might have called them at that time. But there was a lot of interplanetary and intergalactic, perhaps, uh, visitation. Uh, some of the astronauts were called angels. And uh, some of the UFOs were called flying chariots or fiery chariots or whatever. And with this in mind, as I've read the Bible several times, a lot of it didn't make sense to me until I started putting certain definitions on certain words. When I came to the word angel, I interpreted it as astronauts. When I came to cloud or chariot, I interpreted it as a UFO. When it, it came to Jehovah, I put one of the lesser gods. Then when I read it, it made perfect sense. I ended up writing a book about this called Is Jehovah an ET? And in it, I gave a lot of actual biblical quotes about what went on between Jehovah and the people and some of the other gods and their followers. And I bring it up to the point of Jesus when Jesus was born. And when Jesus came to the people who were the chosen people, he was disappointed that they had not followed what he thought was the higher way. He tried to teach them and they weren't open. So he went to the Gentiles. Um, he told the, the Jewish people that they had not seen the real God, the Father, that they had seen Jehovah, but not the higher God. And he taught the people the higher ways. And for this, of course, he was crucified, this among other things. Um, I find it interesting that there recently has been dug up, if you want to say, uh, this um, book of Judas, the book of, uh, yeah, of Judas. And one of the things he says there is Jesus comes in a little late at the Last Supper. All the apostles, disciples are around the table, and they're praying to Jehovah. And they're a little concerned because he's late, and he comes in, and the book of Judas quotes him as saying, oh, so long I've been with you and still you don't understand. It's not Jehovah. Jehovah is not the Father. He's the lesser. I've tried to turn you to the Father within, the true God. And he just spells it out so beautifully in that um, particular um, sacred writing. 
And this has been my contention all along, that there is a wonderful Father within, uh, the God, the I Am Presence, whatever you want to call it, but I don't think his name was ever Jehovah. Now there may have been, um, according to the Kabbalah, a, a Yahweh, a J-H-V-H or Y-H-W-H, um, there was allusion to a higher God, but it got mistranslated into um, the name Jehovah, which was not the same. So there's a lot of discrepancy in the Bible, a lot of mistranslations. But I feel if we are going to follow the teachings of Jesus, we need to listen to what Jesus said. And he talked about the Father within. So that's who I turn to, is the Father within. And I can see what Jehovah was doing. He gave the people a lot of uh, good things, the um, hygienic cleanliness, uh, the laws uh, that would make them more ruly and um, and that sort of thing. He wasn't a bad person, but he was an impatient, uh, kind of prone to violence person. But this might have been part of the, the lessons that we needed to learn. And he was a real physical person who needed to be fed. Yes, very much so. And this, to me, was why all these sacrifices were there. And especially when he led the uh, people, the Hebrews, out of Egypt, and they were in the desert for the 40 years, he insisted that they take all the animals, and there was daily sacrifices. And not just like little sacrifices, but like a hundred at a time. And then the meat on the altar would be beamed up, as it were. It would have flowery talk like, uh, and the Lord swept down over the altar and picked up the sacrifices. But we would call this beam me up Scotty <laughs> nowadays. And so this is what the Hebrews were doing, is feeding Jehovah and his host of astronauts. And this um, light or um, UFO type brilliant guide that they had, it talks about how this a configuration of light would come down over the tent and then stay there for quite a while and these beings would come into this tent that nobody else was allowed into. And so you could kind of see like someday if we start going to other planets, our astronauts, we may get awfully tired of eating the little pills that we have to take when we're in outer space and it might be kind of nice to drop down to a native type planet and have them feed us for a while or something like or maybe even be our servant to do certain things. So I never think that Jehovah's a bad guy, but he, uh, he just is not the father that Jesus spoke of, as far as I'm concerned. So I outline all this in the book and uh, talk a lot about what Jesus really taught and, and how he nullified Jehovah. And for more information, you can check my website, DorothyLeon.com.